Hey there all you Sims 3 fans and welcome to my Sims 3 channel. My name is Robbie and with this video I'm going to be focusing on mastering your charisma skill while at the library and doing so for free. As you can see here at the bottom I'm in the skills tab and my sim has no skills and I also want to mention that your relationships will affect or have a are a factor for your charisma skill so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the M button to bring the world map up and we're going to go to the library and now that we're at the library what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the bookshelf and read Charisma Volume 1. That book will cover levels 1, 2, and 3 for your Charisma skill. And I'm just going to read enough of it to get to level 1 in the Charisma skill. And as you see there, from starting to read that book, I had a meter appear above my Sims head, indicating that I'm increasing a skill. And like I said, I'm reading the charisma book so I'm increasing my charisma skill and I also want to mention down in the bottom in my description of the video you'll find direct links to Amazon to purchase the Sims 3 and the expansion packs and the stuff packs and I hope that you'll get some something useful from this video and hit that subscribe option in the bottom right corner of the video or you'll have another chance at the end of the video. And I hope that you'll check out my other videos as well that have that are all to do with The Sims 3. I'm gonna run that fast forward to get to level one in the charisma skill. We're now at level one in the charisma skill and I'm gonna cancel that reading. And you see down here that there is now the charisma skill listed in the skills tab and it shows that I'm at level one. And also in that pop-up, you see it gives a description of the charisma skill, and it tells how many friends you have, how many friends are required to get to the next level, and then how many relationships or how many people you know, and then it tells you how many people you need to know in order to get to the next level in the charisma skill. So I'm going to let that continue building up. Well, actually, I already canceled it. Let me go back to read it again. And I want to show you that it will probably not let me increase my skill level until I meet another person at the library or someone else, not just at the library. I say the library because that's where I'm at right now. And you see that bar filled up to the top there and it will not let me go to level two until I meet somebody else. Which is the good thing about doing this at the library. You can meet all kinds of people while you're at the library. So I'm going to go over here and click on this person. I'm going to do a charming introduction. And I mentioned the relationships tab down here. You see that I know one person. And in the skills tab, it showed that I needed to know two people. So I'm going over here to introduce myself to this person. And now I know two people. And back in the skills tab, you'll see that it allowed me to pass on to level two of the charisma skill. And now I need to have at least one friend and I need to meet at least one more new person. So what I'll do is I'll just select on a random person here at the library and select charming introduction. And we're gonna work on the relationship to become a friend with that person to fulfill that requirement to get to level three in the charisma skill and you see now that i know three people back in the skills tab that requirement is met so now i just need to become friends with this person 
so what I will do is I'm going to line up a, quite a few friendly gestures in order to increase my relationship with this sim. And following this sim, it appears he needs to use the restroom, so I'm going to wait to interact with him. We'll fast forward a little bit, and you see the meter above my head indicating that I'm actually working on my charisma skill by talking to this person. And at the same time, I'm getting to know the person and build a better relationship with that person. As you can see down here, the icon indicates that they're just an acquaintance. So I need to get that to where it says friend to meet the requirement to progress to level three in the charisma skill. I'm going to line up some more actions, just various friendly actions to help improve the relationship I have with this sim. And you see with each of these actions is still increasing my charisma skill level while I'm getting to know that CM to make them my friend. We'll fast forward through that. We'll line up some more actions. And increasing your charisma skill by talking to people does take a little bit longer to master and work on increasing your skill. And as you can see, the bar down here below that CM is further to the right meaning I'm becoming better friends with this person. And you see that that bar in the skills tab is filled up, so once I get a friend, I will become level three in the charisma skill. And to the right, you see a button for the skill journal. If you click on that button, it'll bring up the skill journal for the charisma skill, where you'll find a description of the charisma skill It'll indicate what level your skill is in the Charisma. It'll have various statistics for the Charisma skill. And down below that, you'll find various challenges that you can do for the Charisma skill. And I'll get into those challenges in another video that I hope that you'll check out. And you see now that I have become friends with that CM. And back in the Skills tab, it now shows that I'm at level 3 in the Charisma skill. So what I will do is I will go over here to the mirror in the bathroom at the library and practice speech. And that is another way that you can work on your Charisma skill at the library and not have to put any money out to purchase any books or any objects or anything. As you see, my charisma skill is increasing by the meter above my sim's head. And if you hover over the skill, it shows it increasing also. And it shows that I now need two friends and to know four people to get my next level in the charisma skill. And this process also takes a little bit of time as well. And once you get your charisma to a certain skill level, you get various new actions, social interactions that you can do with sims that you meet and everything. And as you see, I'm now full in the level three, so I need to meet another person and make another friend in order to get to level four. And as my sim goes home, you notice that there is nobody in the library now. As indicated in the time down here below your sim, 4.30 in the morning. So we'll fast forward till some more people show up. And now that more people are showing up, we're going to go ahead and introduce ourselves to these people to add them to the people that I know. And as you see, my relationship panel is filling up from the people that I know. And back in the skills tab, we see that our current relationships is at seven. 
for how many people we know and we only need to know four people to get to the next level. So I'm going to let my Sim just do his own little in social interactions to work on relationships with the various people that I've met now. And just something that I happen to do sometimes to help my relationships. I'll do some little romantic stuff with the women to help boost my relationships when I'm working on increasing my charisma. And I chose items that would that had the little hearts with them to that would help boost it even more. Although, as you can see, that option is not working because I don't really know the person and they don't know me yet. So it's pretty much taking the relationship in the opposite direction. So in other words, I need to take a different approach, build this relationship. As you've seen in there, there was one right here that would help the relationship, the enthused about animals. We'll talk about cats. It had a heart by it. So we'll let that go for a second. And as you see now, we've made it to the best friend status. And in the skills tab, it shows that I'm now at level four in the charisma skill. And I now need to have three friends and no 10 no six people. I currently know ten people and currently have two friends. So we need to become friends with another person to get to the next level in the skill in the charisma skill. So I'm going to select another person to become friends with them. And fast forward and through to where we're better friends and become friends. You see now that we're friends and we're able to increase our level in the charisma skill to level five. And what I will do for that is go ahead and click this bookcase and read volume two for the charisma skill which will cover levels four, five, and six. And I'll go ahead and fast forward through that, getting all I can from that book. And you see now that I'm at level five in the charisma skill, and I now need four friends and need to know eight people to get to level six. We'll continue that fast forward on that, reading that volume two book. And that is all that I can get from that book with the requirements that I have. And you see again that it is 5.30 in the morning, so there's nobody at the library for me to make one more friend to get to level six. So we're going to fast forward till someone comes to the library again. And there are several people here now. We're going to go ahead and do a charming introduction with them and add them to the list of the sims that I know. I'm going to queue up some actions with this last person I talked to to build up the relationship with this person to become friends. I'm going to fast forward through all of that also. As you see in the message in the top right corner, I've increased my charisma to level six and I now have a new greeting that I can do in social interactions now. And with, uh, with all those relationships that friends and best friends, it now has allowed me to hit level six and start working towards level seven. And I now need five friends and 10 people, no 10 people to get to level seven. I'm going to work on being friends with this Sam also to fulfill that requirement to get to level 7. And going through all that and now be, being best friends, we'll work on getting to level 7 
and the charisma skills. So what I'll do is click the bookcase and read volume three of the charisma skill. And that'll cover level seven, eight, nine, and ten in the charisma skill. And another note on the books in the bookshelf at the library, when you select the read option, it'll only show you the books that you can read. Whereas if you select the open option or, or browse, it'll list bring up a pop-up showing all the books that's in that bookshelf, but if you select read, it only bring up the books you're able to read. And you see now that I'm at level seven in the charisma skill. I now need six friends, and I need to know 15 different sims to get to level eight. So we'll let that meter fill up for level seven, and then we'll meet another person and become friends with another person and that will take us to level 8 and as your level increases it takes longer to get to the next level and you see now that I'm full on level 7 and I'll become level 8 once I meet those requirements and we'll have to wait for more people to come to the library so I'll fast forward through that as well and you now see that I have met the requirements for the people, amount of people I know. I just need to make one more friend to get to level 8 in the charisma skill. So I'll do so with this sim and build his relationship up. And I've now become best friends with that sim and have achieved level 8 in the charisma skill. And you see now that I need to know 20 sims and be friends with 8 of them. And I will go over here and practice my speech to see if I can increase my charisma any further. And as I said earlier, using the mirror to practice your speech for charisma does take a little while to do so. Plus it's at a high level when I'm doing this. So I'll go ahead and go over here to the bookshelf and select to read that volume three charisma book. And I'll cancel that practice speech as the books do teach you faster. Plus you get a boost while you're in the library, which allows you to learn faster while reading books. And you see now that I have filled that up and I'm ready to hit level nine but I need to make eight friends and meet 20 sims in order to do so. So I'm gonna fast forward a little bit and, and that should take me to where I'm able to get to level 10 once I meet the requirements. And it appears that's all that I can get from that book for charisma. So I'll need to meet four more sims and make two more friends. We're gonna fast forward to let the library open again and have more sims come back. And here's a cat I was mentioning earlier. You can add, have an option of meeting pets to help with your relationships and building your charisma skill. As I pause the game, I'm going to scroll through these relationships and you'll see here that that cat is listed in your relationships. So I'm going to do some friendly stuff with the cat to help with the relationship. And as you note here, that does count as how many people you know for helping your charisma skill to increase to the next level. I'm going to fast forward through this to get that friendship and I've become friends with that cat and have managed to make the number of friends required to get to level 10. Now I just need to meet three more new sims. 
I'm going to go and fast forward till some Sims show up so I can get to meet the new Sims. You see in the message in the top right corner there, I have now achieved level 10 in the Charisma skill. And in the Skills tab here, it shows that I've mastered that Charisma skill now. So I hope that this video is giving you some value in ways to master your Charisma skill and make new friends while at the library and not have to pay for any books or anything like that. And I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner of the video or at the end of the video. And please be sure to check out my other Sims 3 videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.